Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kyra and here on this channel, we love our makeup and we like to use what we already have. I'm also a recovering beauty guru, which means for the last six years, I bought anything and everything that I wanted in the realm of beauty, but now I'm trying to rein myself in, track what I have, use what I have, and even sometimes use up what I have. But one of the ways that I have been working toward that goal this year is by doing a declutter, followed by a, if I could only keep five, in the same category. So you may have seen that I put up my single eyeshadow declutter, which I will have linked below for you, of course. But I also did a build your own palette video, including a look, which is this look right here. So I'll have that link down below as well. And today we're gonna talk about the five Sydney Grace eyeshadow singles that I would keep if I could only keep five. Right off the bat, I'll say that they're all shimmer. If I could only keep five of my singles, it literally would be all shimmer also wanted to point out my mushroom earrings. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed the gummy bear earrings. My niece makes these. Let's get started. These are the five shadows. I put them all in this little palette here and I'm gonna swatch them for you one by one and tell you why I love them so much. Starting with this shade right here, this is called Bronzed to Perfection. And this is the shade that I am wearing all uh, on my lid today. It is one of my favorite shadows in my collection, but it is definitely my favorite bronze eyeshadow. This just absolutely looks like liquid metal on the eyes. I think a bronze eyeshadow really brings out or makes my brown eyes pop. I just love a good bronze eyeshadow. And for me, this is 100% the best one. I will of course have each of these individually linked down below for you, as well as just the Sydney Grace website in case you're curious about their shadows. The next shadow that is a favorite is this one right here. I love green eyeshadow. And it was really hard to pick a favorite green out of my singles, but this is the shade Recruit. Again, you're gonna see it is just absolutely beautifully pigmented, super shiny, and it's just such a fun green. It has a little bit more of a deeper olive base to it with a lighter olive shimmer, metallic, flip, whatever you wanna call it but and these go beautifully together as well. I love this one all over the lid. I love that it has that undertone of depth and it gives dimension to the eyelid, but then it has that brighter sheen or metallic-ness <laughs> to it. And it's just a beautiful shade. I absolutely adore it. Next, going over to a cool tone eyeshadow from a Sydney Grace that I love. I do love the shade called Gray's Gift. It is a beautiful shade, but I personally actually like this one better. This one is called Winter Garden. That's what that one looks like. And the reason I enjoy this one is because cool tone shadows can be a little tricky on my skin tone. I have a very warm yellow undertone. And so not all cool tones will work for me, but this one really bridges the gap. It has a warmer purple undertone, so like more red to the purple than blue, but then the sheen or the flip is cool tone. As you can see, it's a little bit of a lilac little shift there. It's just absolutely stunning. And then for anyone that ever enjoyed Max Blue Brown Pigment, Another great option is this one. It is called Red Chameleon. It is definitely a favorite for me. It does have a strong reddish base, but the blue or turquoise shift is also very strong. And this is a nice depth. It's kind of fun for the lid but it's also kind of fun for the outer corner or especially the lower lash line. And it's just like what I had always wanted from MAC, but never went ahead and make made that purchase. But I now have that in my collection. I believe the other shadow that it's like is Urban Decay Lounge. And then lastly, this is a favorite, 
well i will admit i don't wear it a ton it's still a favorite in my collection and it would be one of the ones i would keep if i could only keep five and that is this brilliant beautiful blue right here this is a whole different ball game in fact i'm gonna wipe the other swatches off for a second because I want you to be able to really appreciate this blue. And the blue is called Boy Crazy, in case I didn't say that. This is just the most brilliant blue I've ever seen in an eyeshadow. I don't have anything else like this in my collection. It just is beautiful, it's blue, it's just blue. <laughs> but it is the most beautiful blue there we go you can see the shine a little better it's just so pretty it has a slight shift of purple to it which i don't know if you'll be able to see i need to get some use on this and i aim to use every single single every single single in my collection this year so i cannot wait to share a look with you guys using this color or the shade but it does stain a little bit i will say that make sure you use a primer and you may or may not need to use like an oil-based cleanser to prevent any long-lasting staining but it's just absolutely stunning well this is kind of a mishmash of shades here from sydney grace and they don't really go together at all they're beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. I love Sydney Grace shadows, especially the shimmers. And these are the five I would keep if I could only keep five. So that's it. Short and sweet. I believe the next, if I could only keep five, will be foundations. And even I don't know what those would be yet. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future declutters. If I could only keep five looks with my singles and my collection in general and i hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and i'll see you in my next video very very soon